Alexis and I are going to do our very own lioness tutorial. So real quick, this is what you're going to be using and I'll describe it as we go, what you should use and when. She's embarrassed by me. Okay, first of all, make sure that your face is clean and then we are going to actually start with the white. Um, so <clears throat> essentially you're going to use kind of a chubby brush and your white and we're going to do kind of like an hourglass shape around the forehead, nose, and mouth. And when you're doing this, you want to dip it really lightly because it's thick and then you're going to spread it out um, a lot. So you're going to smooth it out a lot. So you're going to do your outline first. So we're going to just kind of do a little quick, a quick outline down the center of the nose and we'll blend it in as we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, but basically we want, it's going to be contouring essentially. And you can do the whole lip. So we're going to do the whole lip area and then chin. Doesn't have to be thick. You want it to be smooth. So keep blending as you go. Okay, so we can always go back to that. So then we are going to use um, a little sponge and your Ben Nye color. Um, whatever color you have is fine. If it's a little lighter than that, if it's a little darker than that, that's fine because obviously each lioness can have some different characteristics. So what you're going to do with this is you're going to get this nice on your applicator here and then um, start putting it all over her face. You want to make sure that you do go into the hairline a bit uh, because you don't want a defined line um, and also you're going to go down into the neck as well because of the costuming. Oopsie! <laughs> so you're going to keep applying just a nice golden color and if you go over the white a little bit, don't worry about it because we're gonna go through and blend that again. So not a big deal. Make sure you get the eyes and the eyebrows really good. Okay. I'm not going to do her whole neck right now, but make sure that you are blending down into the neck, her whole, the neck area, okay? Because your costume is not going to cover that up. All right, so I'm going to go back in with a little bit of white and do some blending, okay? And you're going to just kind of brush it around a little bit. Blend it around and down the nose, around the mouth again. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna use some bronzer. Doesn't matter what kind, just some bronzer and we're gonna go over the face and even a little bit of the white part so it's not so glowy, okay? And I actually think I may have used a little bit too much so we'll go back over with the white a little bit. But when you're doing it, if it seems like it's a little orange, it's okay. The more the better when it comes to stage makeup. When you're looking at it up close, it's gonna seem like it's really dark, but it's okay. Okay, and then we are going to use a little bit of blush. It's, doesn't matter, again, what color, but just to, you know, bring out the cheeks a little bit. So now we are going to do the eyes. And again, this can vary depending on the girl and the shape of the eyebrows. Alexis has some wider eyebrows, so we will um, work with what we have. We have an eyebrow pencil with a brush um, that I actually have one for every one of you. So what you're going to do here is you're gonna draw a line up the side of the nose and over the eyebrow and up. So, you can see that. And then you're going to just color it in a little bit. You can use the brush a little bit to kind of smooth it out. Smooth out the hair of the eyebrows. And then you're gonna do the other side, which maybe for time's sake, maybe we'll just do the one side, but we'll just go ahead. So again, just line up the side of the nose, over the eyebrow, and kind of swoop it up. person's head the way every way you want it to make it easier for you to make this happen. Huh? <laughs> okay. So hopefully you can see that how that's taken shape there. Okay. Next we are going to use uh, black eyeliner and we're gonna go over the um, lid of the eye okay so right over the eyelashes so close your eyes and just kind of do it in a nice quick little swoop and then you can go back and touch it up as you need to And then you're gonna go, I'm just gonna do the one side. So then you're gonna go underneath the eye a little bit. So 
So have your person look up, your person, your daughter, your lioness, whatever. And we're gonna do a little bit underneath the eye, as close to the eye lashes as possible. Okay. And you can just do a little bit of it and then you can use um, a little brush to help blend that a little bit underneath. And I don't happen to have my blending brush with me. Well, let's see what we have here. Here we go. It's a little, little brush here that can uh, blend your black a little bit underneath the eye. Don't go. Don't go. So like I said, we're just going to do the one side and you can go over it a little bit more so it's um, a little bit darker or thicker because again, when it comes to being on stage, it's totally fine if it's a little bit darker, okay? All right, so now we're going to do the nose and the mouth and like the whisker area. So this part is pretty simple. So you're just going to essentially draw a heart on the nose. So like right at the tip of the nose and around the nostril. And sorry, around the nostril. Okay, cute little nose. And you're gonna color it in. to get all up underneath the nose. Black is not forgiving, so you want to try not to make too many mistakes with it. Or else you'll have to wipe it off and start over. Bottom. Okay, so you have your little nose there. Okay, and then you're going to draw a line down the center of the nose to the lip. So just a real quick whoop, like that. <laughs> And then you are going to outline the top of the lip with the black line. And I would do just a kind of cute little swoop up the side of the mouth. You would say swoop. <laughs> So it kind of makes them look like they have a little bit of a smile. And then you want to color in a little bit of the top of the lip. Okay. All right. So then we are going to make the bottom lip a little bit whiter. So we're going to dab in there and then Blend a little bit more. Tip it up. Get in there, okay? And then you can do a little bit more blending into the chin area here. Okay. All right. Then we want to make some like whisker marks, not necessarily lines, but little dots. So you're gonna do three or four on the side here. So just, you wanna do, kind of twist it in there into the big cheek. Okay, just like that. 
on both sides, obviously. And then um, the last thing we're going to do is some eyelashes. So everybody will get a set of eyelashes. And what you're going to do, if you've never applied eyelashes before, you take it off and then you have your little glue that comes with it. <laughs> and you'll put your glue on your eyelash. I know, this is funny. And then, so put it on your eyelash there. Okay, like that. Then you apply it right above their lash line. Okay. And you're going to want to hold it there for a minute until it secures itself. Okay, which should be pretty quick. Okay, go ahead and open. Ooh. Take a look. Makes a big difference with those eyelashes. Oh my God, it's so tickling. Very pretty. Oh my God. So as I'm looking at this, the white on the bottom lip is rubbing off with the black. So we're going to adjust that a little bit, okay? So we're gonna go back over the lip with the black, okay? All right, so lastly, if you have some setting powder, um, it would be a good idea to do a little bit of setting, especially around the lip area, so the black doesn't run onto the white, okay? Okay, all right, so there you go. Pretty simple. So should take you about 15, 20 minutes. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Nice job, Alexis. Bye.